Again, I legitimately didn't know if his set monster could have prevented attacks. If it could have, then even... I probably should have just gone there, then wing beat it at the main phase too. But I think I got... No, I, I definitely got tunnel finish in there. I wanted to get rid of Ouija board as fast as possible, completely disregarding other facts. See, this is why you have to think your plans through. We could have won one turn earlier. That one turn, if he drew something and out, we would have lost. Hmm. Sure thing. This is probably too early, but I figured I want to get a big 2300 guy out right now. Because his deck is designed around summoning Slifer, Osiris the Heavenly Dragon. And if he can pull it off, we're in a huge pickle. So we want a big monster to prevent him from just summoning and setting really, really quickly. Because I don't know what he could have set. He could have something big or something small. At least 2300 is bigger than the current level of 2100. Yes, Big Shield Garden exists at 26, but it also switches to attack mode. So as long as we can build up our forces on the field, there's nothing he can really do about it. That's how I see it. Okay, Twin-Headed Behemoth, good. Let's see if he can have this. I don't think he can. Battle. Attack. Alright, this is gonna be a joke. He probably bricked. I think he bricked really hard. No way he wouldn't have done anything yet. Yeah, the opponent lost. I know it's not mirror, but just to be sure. What was it? It was seven tools. Okay, we, we had this in the bag. This game was won so easily. That was pathetic. Let's keep going. Rise of the Dragon Lords is a really good structure deck for this game. I did not expect it to be as good as it is. Okay, this hand is pretty good. But what else can you do? Nothing. I'm calling it. He can do nothing else. Actually, he could because he's um, Rashid and Rashid has good cards in his deck. Good cards are really good in this format. I don't want to lose card advantage this early. Come on. Okay. I'm serious. Hello, uh. Min Cat. Tiki Kas. So he's forced into drawing Tiki Curse, which he can't use. He's drawing a death card. Unless both of my mills mess up. Which I doubt. Okay. Rashid, prepared to be neglected by your master, Merrick. Yeah. Yes, Rashid, allow me to rebuild my supplies. It's exactly what I want you to do. Remember, the reason this deck works is because it forces the opponent to be aggressive. And if the opponent doesn't become aggressive, what ends up happening is I have so many resources by the end of it that there's nothing they can do. Okay, but they learn to, by the time they learn of our intent, there's nothing they can do. I am willing to sit these three turns out the game. I really am. 
just to replenish my hand, because this deck really doesn't have a hand replenishing system. But when I can do it, it's really good. Look, activate effect. Send Goryu to pop this. And now, even if he does have outs, per se, he can't survive more than one turn. This forces him on the offensive. And by forcing him on the offensive, he can no longer stall out, meaning he has to play recklessly. If he wants to play recklessly, he plays right into my hands. With these broken nonsense cards. And even then, they're not as good as they could be. I could be having like, Rageki here instead. Or Soul Exchange could be Monarch Stormforth, but it's not. Ooh, I'm so scared. Will we get the 1 in 27? I highly doubt it. Okay, we got a one in we got a one in nine chance. Hmm. Good games are good, guys. Good games are good. Oh, that caused audio pop. I could already feel it in my ear. That's fine. Let's keep going. Actually, I think this Katsuya Jonochi deck is really weak because he has a bunch of bricks in here. He's got Insect Queen, Legendary Fisherman in his deck here. And he's got a bunch of other cards he can't use for the most part. So we should be fine. Yeah, we should definitely be fine. Debate. Picking up the creator, I guess? Yeah, the creator, okay. Herald. Herald effect. Pitching flame roller, adding back creator. Passing. And we have now ensured a loop. As soon as I can get my graveyard filled, we're pretty much golden. Panther Warrior is a bit strong, though. Thinking about it, Panther Warrior is really strong. But here's the thing, right? His his hand is so dead. He's got nothing to do. You don't believe me? He has no out to this. Calling it right now. Except maybe Kunai would chain Panther Warrior, but even I doubt it. Insect the Queen. Tokinomaji. Okay, never mind. He has Tokinomaji to share. Fucking course he lands it, sure. Damn it! This opponent is cracked. But am I scared? No. Maybe a little bit. There he is. Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shoka. It really did suck having a Sonic Forces episode deleted, episode 4. I did not mean for that to happen, it just sort of did. Yeah, that came out of nowhere, thinking about it, how I just said that out loud. Because, for you, it's pro that probably happened back in, what, July? I can't summon the creator from the graveyard. No! Oh, so stupid. Why did I allow this to happen? What is wrong with me? Am I bad? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad at this game, I don't know. Alligator, sword, dragon? Yeah, it is. Yep. 
See, that is a fusion. That is a fusion summon. Holy shit. So much damage, guys. That is a lot of damage. We'll make it. We definitely will make it, though. Yes. I will not die. I'll wait here for you in my time of dying. I will not die. <laughs> no. This is so stupid. <laughs> I freaking hate that the AI can do this sometimes. You know, sometimes they'll just open the nuts. And then there's nothing you can do. But y'all know I'm kidding, right? I'm not actually scared at all. Not one bit. And he can't even save himself with a trap card. Not what I wanted to draw, but better than nothing, I guess. I guess if I draw a mausoleum, I'm safe. But then again, he also has Guild Ford, the Lightning, doesn't he? Or is that in the Malik match? I don't remember. I think it's in the Malik match he has it. I don't know if he has it in the Rashid fight. Of course. Of course he draws the one out. Well, one of many outs. Doesn't even matter. Because the weakness of Jonoji's deck is that his deck is filled with a bunch of weaklings. Damn, my eyes are freaking tired. All this studying, man. I'm taking a break because I have to. Not because I want to. <laughs> I legitimately would have lost my mind if I didn't take a break. Another Kaiser Seahorse, at least. Good cards are good. For anyone wondering why I say self-supporting statements such as good cards are good, it's for a reason. And that reason is that this game is really fun. And sometimes I just want to point out certain enunciation and certain facts about it. And very many facts in this game are self-evident, you know, similar to the Declaration. You know, we hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal, stuff like that. And because they're so self-evident to us, we're able to notice some key details, per se. Some very, very key details. Oh, wait, I can do that. Yes. Guildford, the lightning. I never thought I would actually tribute summon this thing for the god card way. I mean, this is Jonochi's answer to the god cards. You know, everyone else showed up with an Egyptian god, and two of them showed up with Millennium Items, and the third one showed up with a bunch of money. Jonochi really entered that tournament with a bunch of scraps. <laughs> he really did what Iron Man did. Jonochi Katsuya was able to build this deck... <laughs> In a cave, with a box of scraps. I mean, he didn't do it in a cave, but you know. Sir, I'm not Tony Stark. <laughs> ah, when the MCU was good. Iron Man 1 was a good movie. Oh no, what does that mean? Does he have an out? Does he have the out to get rid of this? I hope not. Please don't have the out game. I don't want to waste snipe hunter ammunition. <laughs> He had the out. Oh, damn it. This game is so hard. <laughs> For the wrong reasons. <laughs> There's no way I get a 1 in 9 chance this time, right? Oh, I get it the first time. Yeah. Yeah, 1 in 3 chance to fail. Let's go. I mean, you gotta love this War of Attrition style gameplay. The top deck wars. There's very little like it in this series. Funny, I don't want to waste it though. I think his back row isn't very good. Yeah, it's not. 
Watch it, that was Sakuretsu armor, and he just had a streak of drawing monsters, and I drew none. That'd be the saddest shit. And even more painful if they were all less than 1,500. <laughs> That's right, we did it. Please don't roll him. Okay.